read a lot of uh, science fiction. I think good science fiction, and because of that, I thought, well, it, that's uh, probably interesting thing to spend my life on. First, on orbit, you start to feel weightlessness. And I remember first time looking outside, I was amazed to see curved horizon because before that, although we theoretically knew that we are on the globe, but from orbit, you already see curvature of the Earth, and that was first surprise. Again, I, I knew it, but to see with your own eyes that you have pretty thin layer of atmosphere that protecting us, that's another interesting experience. When you look down, uh, you have uh, some kind of blue filter. And this blue filter make all colors actually not so distinct. So really, green is not so green, it's more like bluish green. Blue is more blue because again, we have more uh, blue from atmosphere. And uh, where we have really bright colors is on horizon, especially during sunrise and sunset. That's where we have a lot of brightness and a lot of uh, colors. When you look down, I realize that it's a little more difficult uh, to find things on the surface than uh, when you do it on the maps. Because on the maps you have borders, but in space you have no borders and you have only natural rivers, mountains, beaches, water and forests. So you start to understand that uh, in many cases our separation uh, on the Earth is more artificial. Naturally, we are living on the same surface, so you start to feel that we are more united. On the ground, we live in a different country with uh, different view on some things, but being in space, we uh, we all exposed in a harsh environment. We all have about the same motivation to go up and. Uh, majority of us, and actually I would say all of us who was in space, uh, start to care about um, environment, about Earth, about people on Earth, and you start to feel kind of uh, brotherhood. We live on the same Earth, with the same, bigger than uh, station, but still spacecraft that are flying through the space, and uh, we have joined problems together, environmental, technical, uh, philosophical sometimes, but we need to solve uh, these problems together and that's uh, the best way how to do that. I think what we do in space, what we do in space together is a good example how people need to live on the ground. I know that people sometimes start to argue with no good reason for that. But again, especially when you're in harsh environment, uh, you rely on each other, you try to help each other. That's how we live in space, and that's probably can be a good example for, for people on the ground. I'm happy that all this political turbulence doesn't affect us too much. We try to keep this area protected and uh, keep this good example to show maybe politicians and maybe other people in my country, in your country, uh, showing that that's really how we need to live.